The Simpsons, one of my favorite shows, especially from my teenage years. Say what you want about the show, but I think I quote The Simpsons more than any other piece of media ever created. But you do have to admit it, the show has kind of lost its way a little bit, and although I do love revisiting it every Halloween, I tend to skip the more recent stuff. But in a world of live actions and reboots, who knows, we might actually see a reimagining of these characters we love so much. As much as I really don't want that, let's take a look at the real actors who can portray these characters. But before we get started, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is a VPN that allows you to protect your data from it being breached, which is great. But if I'm being honest, I mainly use it to change my IP address so I can watch things that aren't available in my country. Like, let's say you want to watch some turtles and you live in Canada. Well, you only have one option, so you're kind of out of luck. Or you could change your IP address to appear like you're from the States. Then you have more options as well as the 2012 series to watch. And the great thing about Surfshark is it allows unlimited devices. So use promo code BRIANSEEKER to get 83% off and three months extra free. So check the link in the description below for more details. As for the castings today, we're tackling The Simpsons family. So Homer, Marge, Lisa, and Bart Simpson. So let's recast The Simpsons for live action. First up, let's tackle the main man himself, Homer Simpson. Now Homer, as a character, has a specific feeling. Childlike innocence, confident, but just plainly dumb. He's not just dumb, however. He's lazy, he's ignorant, but most important, the fact that is commonly overlooked, he's lovable. You root for him. He can really be everything we hate in a human being, but he makes us smile and makes you root for him. Now, Paul Giamatti looks the most like Homer in real life, and he can do everything I talked about before, but he lets off a little bit more of a sad, angry vibe. He doesn't have that lovable nature to him. He seems down on his luck and angry about it. I don't specifically like him in any of the roles he's been in before. John C. Riley, however, if you think about it, has that perfect energy. He's played dumb and extremely stupid in the past, where he actually makes you buy into it. He's a man-child. He has a voice that's recognizable, and honestly, he just has that perfect personality that makes us root for him. That lovable Homer vibe that just feels right. Okay, here's a shot out of a cannon. Oprah, Barbara Walters, your wife. You gotta f one, marry one, kill one, go. He may not look the most like the part, but with his bigger frame and just that personality, I think he'd make the perfect live action Homer. So John C. Riley as Homer. As for Marge, we need a specific type of actress as well. Someone who feels neggy, but sweet. Someone who has a big heart and feels motherly, but also can go on a little bit of a self-indulgent kick. We need someone who's around John C. Riley's age, and someone obviously who could work well with his type of humor. We want someone who can really take the weight of the family, but sometimes break a little bit and really show that humanity. Grabbing an actress who would do this too straight wouldn't work because of the ridiculous nature of Homer, but she needs to be a lot better looking than him. It's kind of a main point of their relationship. That's why I ended up on Leslie Mann. Now don't get me wrong, she has a little bit more of a free-flowing energy than Marjorie usually does, but I think she can be targeted because she has that perfect motherly vibe to her. But she also feels like she can take a lot of the abuse that Marge does. Like she can withstand all the dumb nature and really bear the weight of the entire family. You go to your room right now, you are not allowed to use iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, iTunes, Netflix, Pandora, or Spotify. Although she does not have a similar voice to Marge, she has that vibe. She has that right feeling. She seems lovable and always that shoulder for everyone to lean on. But when she breaks down, she does it in such a relatable and interesting way that I always felt like the best storylines for Marge included. So Leslie Mann as Marge. Now, Bart is one of the easier ones. He needs to have the temperament of a troublemaker and lead into his cute looks from time to time. And he really can play the innocent card. You tell he is far from that. Bart needs this smirk, which just makes it seem like he's up to something. Now, he's supposed to be 10 in the actual series, but I think a little bit older could work here. And alternatively, I think it'd be interesting to watch the characters actually grow up, unlike they do in the cartoon. I end up going with Parker Bates, who's best known from This Is Us, where he plays a young version of Kevin and honestly does a great job. He has this mischievous nature that I think works well, but he also has heart that comes across when we need that in the episodes. I think he has that perfect Bart smirk and can really sell the troublemaker and the mischievous version here. Hey, four eyes, catch! Hey. So Parker Bates as Bart. Next up, we have Lisa. Now, Lisa needs to be everything. I know it all, sometimes a villain for Bart, intelligent, but most important, what I think makes Lisa stand out is she's determined. There are many stories where Lisa's hard work, which gets her to essentially a professional status. Sometimes she even suffers because of it. I think McKenna Grace would be perfect, but I think she's aged out of the role a little bit. I end up landing on Regan Revore, who's shown that determination in spades. She has shown in Young Sheldon that she definitely has the sass and that controlling nature that works well for Lisa, but I think she can really pull off the intelligence 
intelligent humor. She has that wit and that vibe she'll do anything. Tell us everything. The boys were a little mean at first, but I handled it. Can I warm up with you? I don't play baseball with girls. Really? Your friend's playing with one? So Reagan Revord as Lisa. So there are the four main characters of the family. Of course, I didn't have to do Maggie because she's essentially a baby. Did you enjoy this though? Do you want me to continue on to the many, many characters of The Simpsons? Let me know in the comments below. As always though, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.